Hey y'all, I know it has been a while since I've done a video and I've been planning this one for quite some time. So, um, I mean, my apologies. I know I really, y'all are gonna say you don't need to apologize, but I do apologize because I've been kind of MIA for the last month or so, um, traveling for work. Well, I went on vacation and traveling for work and just been busy, but, um, past couple of weeks I've been trying to work on some projects. So I've had this set up for a while to show you guys um, some of my embellishments. So we'll do a couple of them here. Uh, depends on how long the video gets. I might just do several. I might do one long one, but grab a snack. We'll see. Um, <laughs> and I did finally find the book where uh, a lot of you asked me the, the craft text books that I made and the images that I used on the front. And it just so happens that this is the book that they came from. I found another copy. Um, this is a really old little golden book. I actually purchased this one. I believe I found it on Thrift Books. Um, you can check Thrift Books or you can check Etsy or you can check eBay. Um, I might have actually gotten it off of eBay. I don't know. Thrift Books probably doesn't have these. I haven't found... Um, I found some on thrift books, but maybe not this old one. This one might've been eBay. Anyway, this is the book where I got those images from and, um, it's illustrated by Corinne Malvern, who's also one of my favorite illustrators of little golden books. And she's done mother goose books and stuff like that. But, um, this is a 1947 copy and I don't know, I don't know if there were more of these made but here's the little girl on uh, the pink one that I did uh, for this little piggy and then and and I didn't realize either because I had just I had a really I had an old copy of this one that was really in bad shape so I ended up just taking the images out and then I forgot where I actually got the book but um yeah this one would be great to do on a Christmas book I might do that um, let's see. These images in here are so cute. Here's the three babes. I just thought I would show you guys this because I had a ton of people asking me about the images and where I find my images. And then here's the little boy. Uh, let's see. Where was the other one? There's another one. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's go back. Um... I actually put this image in one of the books and then I made, actually made some little tags out of these. I cut these out and made tags. And yes, here's the little, here's the little kids by the seashore. And I believe, I believe this is the one I used um, on the cover of that yellow book. So anyway, um, this one's really cute. It's got a lot of, it, it's a really neat book. This one's in really good shape. So not sure what I'll do with this one yet. Um, I do try not to use the exact same images. I mean, I will, I can. I try to do something different, um, but these are so cute. I may make some more and uh, use some of these images, just change them up a little bit. But anyway, so that's where those images came from. And then this is another book that has some really cute, has some really cute images in it. And this had, this is the one, um, this is the one that had, that I bought from Renee, that had the um, images from the Christmas journals I did last year. Um, the two kids um, sledding. So, um, and then, this one also had, I bought another one and I don't know what I did with the other one, but anyway. So this one always also had that image that I made for my book, that I made for my 2022 journal. So this one's really cute. It's got a lot of really cute things that would be great for just pages in books or covers or whatnot. So this one is uh, my counting book. It's a Rand McNally Elf book. And it was, um, Oh gosh, it's got the MCMLX. So <laughs> you'll have to sit down and figure out what year that is. But really cute. Covers really cute. This would make a really cute um, journal too. I have so many things that would make cute journals. 
and just not enough time to make them all. So I wanted to share that with you. And then um, I know a lot of you wanted to, me to show you how I made my tags. So um, these are just some that I have pulled out already from the um, Alice and Jerry books that I had. And I believe Chastity actually sent me some of those and I'm still working on those journals. Um, that'll probably be first of the year before I actually finish those up because I'm, I'm working on Christmas. Um, 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 Christmas and some Halloween journals and then some custom ones I need to finish. So all I, all I did was I went through and kind of cut these pages down, you know, like I cut the, cut the rough edges off of them, folded them up. And then all you have to do at that point is find you, um, like a lot of times what I'll use is like, you know, these, these pieces from paper pads. You know, and all you really have to do is just kind of is glue this to this. You know, it just gives you a little stability. Um, you can use a file folder. You can use whatever you want. Glue this to this and cut it out and stitch around it. Okay. So we'll do that real quick in a minute. But um, so I've already kind of prepared a bunch of these pages. And then, um, so these were some that, that I made already. I hadn't finished. You know from other from other books okay just real simple just a way to use up i have a ton of i don't know about y'all but i just have an absolute ton of book pages that i can go back and and make pockets or tags out of uh, pulled some scrap paper here to use for this as well and then you know just more book pages i pulled out and then here's one of the books um, this is another book that Chastity sent me. So I took it apart, which these are a bear. These are an absolute bear to take apart. Um, but I haven't gone, I haven't gone through this one completely yet. Um, but you could just take this and, you know, find you the images that you like. These are two pages. Hold on. No, nope, that's one page. Cut that off. You know, I would cut this off. Okay, fold this up. You know, and you can make a pocket out of it. Just cut that part off. You can leave the little holes if you want that. Um, you could put a little tab on here. You know, just, just whatever. The possibilities with these book pages are endless, okay? But that's where, um, this is the type of book that I made um, those tags out of for the last journals that I made that all you guys were asking me about, okay? Um, well, these types of books, the readers that I'm making, these types of books is where they came from. The um, This is Jack and Janet, so this is not, I don't know, is this a Jerry and Alice book or not? So look, pictures back, pictures by Corinne. Malvern. So I'm always drawn to her. It's really funny. I'm always drawn to her and um, oh, the other little golden book, Arthur. I always want to call her um, Edith Holden. Yeah, Edith Holden. I get her and the Edwardian lady mixed up. But anyway, um, Eloise, no, I see. Edith Holden is the, is the Edith Holden is the um, Edwardian book lady who does all the who did all the illustrations of the plants and stuff. Eloise Wilkins is the other illustrator that I really like with little golden books. I always get them mixed up, y'all. Sorry about that. Anyway, so those books are great. Um, you could probably find them on eBay or Etsy or some of the live sales. I know um, you can find them like that. Some people are lucky enough to find them in thrift stores and stuff, stuff like that. So, um, so I'm going to show you how I do this. And then I'm also going to show you, give you some other ideas. So here's another thing that you can do with just little scraps and tickets and die cuts. So I had a bunch of, you know, leftover strips from when I make journals. And sometimes I will put these Sometimes I put these extras in with the journals, and then sometimes if I, um, 
sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll just keep them to do kind of scrap projects with. So I had, I kept a lot of these pieces um, to do this kind of stuff with. So you just strips of paper that's left over from other projects and some little tags that I printed that I bought from um, the Cassie Duster Roses. She has this uh, ticket um, printable in her shop. And then some of these are actual tickets and from paper lines and then punches and little labels. And then this is just a little, um, I think this was actually a die cut from Pretty Paper Studios that I've had in my stash. You can use book page images, um, just whatever you want. And you can see, I just kind of clustered them together. I just glued them and then I just ran a stitch down the side. So these would be great in your journals as a, as a little side tab, okay? And make it a tuck on a page. Um, these are really simple lots of fun and then you know here's another one just it's just a little cluster a scrap piece of paper some little tickets a label and a little die cut and then i just um stitched some rickrack across it i stapled this so this uh, this serves the same purpose you could put it on the side of a page um you could make it a little you could actually make it a little um paper clip you know you can make this um, a paper clip, put something on the other side, um, you know, make it a little tuck, tuck spot, you know, or a, just glue it down and make it part of your layout in your book, you know, just so many, so many little things you can do. Here's a, a paper clip. Okay. So what I did was I cut a bunch of envelopes. Okay. I just take my um, I have this little envelope maker, which can be, which can be sort of annoying. Okay. It's an envelope punch board and, and I do like it, but when I first got it, I was having real trouble with my eyes. <laughs> so I couldn't even read, like, I really couldn't even read this it is so small. Okay. But I mark where I normally, what I normally do. So normally I, um, which I can see it now. Once I got my glasses, I can see it, but it's still hard to see. Um, I don't know why they didn't just make this black. I think you could see it better if they'd have made the writing black instead of this white on blue, but I don't work for the manufacturer. So, but I'm, I put myself a little dot here because normally what I use is the six, is the six by six paper. So the six by six paper and you punch it at this mark tells you here, okay? Tells you for a three by four envelope, you use a six by six piece of paper and you punch it at two and, see I have a hard time seeing it now. I think it's like two and an eighth, okay? Or two and a, let's see a half. No, two and five eighths, because I've got it marked here. That way I don't have to think about it every time, because usually I just make the small ones, okay? But this is what I use for the envelopes. Okay. And I just cut circles now for these. Um, and I've done I've done hidden paper clips before. So it's pretty simple. You just fold over a piece of paper, okay? Like Let's say, and you know what? All my scissors, <laughs> all my scissors are with, sitting with another project. So this is just a folded up piece of uh, card stock. I think it's a leftover card I had. So you just figure out what size you need. And I'm just going to cut this, cut this piece of paper, okay? And then you grab yourself a paper clip. Now, if you want to do, um, If you want to do a smaller one, use the smaller paper clip. If you want to use kind of a bigger piece, then use the, what they call the jumbo paper clip. And this is about, I don't know, they're about two inches. And this one's like an inch, okay? But you just take your paper clip, okay? And you put your paper clip on there like that. And then whatever you want to put on the outside of it, and you're gonna fit, you're gonna, you know, measure whatever. Say so you want to put this little cluster. I was just messing around with this little cluster. 
okay? But this is too long, so I'll cut that off. And then I had some other little envelopes, yeah. I made a bunch of envelopes here. So let's say, let's use this dark green one. Okay. And then I'm gonna glue that on the other side. Now, if I want it, if I want it to sit on top of the page, I'm gonna put the paper clip there. If I want it to sit on the side of the page, I'm gonna put it over here. Okay. And then you would then you would glue it together and then it'd make a paper clip. That's how simple that is. It really is simple, y'all. Okay. But on this one, I use circles. So I cut my circles. I'll just make a bunch of circles. Like I took the scraps and then I took some, you know, leftover box, probably a cereal box or something or a cracker box. And I made a bunch of circles. Okay. So if I do, if I'm going to do this, you're not going to see, you're not going to see this side of it anyway, but you can put, if you want to make tags out of this, then I would either just draw some lines on here, stamp some lines, or put like an index card or, you know, um, your old ledger paper or whatever you want glued to the back to make it where you could put a photo or some kind of <clears throat> embellishment here. And then right on the back, you know, punch your hole, make a tag. There's just the possibilities of this is endless, y'all. So see, I can take her and all I did, all I did was take a, a circle punch and um, this is just some, well, this is some handmade paper, which is a nice paper, but I was just playing around. A little scrap, just a little scrap of paper, a die cut and some little flowers and ran a stitch through it. That is that simple, but they turn out so cute. So <clears throat> I was probably gonna make this one into some kind of paper clip. I don't know if I wanna do the envelope on the back or I could actually take, um, I'm gonna do with my other little things that I made. Okay. Yeah, I made a bunch of these too, which I think are really cute. And this is super simple. This I actually saw uh, somewhere else where um, I can't remember. I think I was, I, I can't remember where I saw this. So this was not my original idea, but I saw somebody use these as little tabs on pages. But what I thought would be really cute too, is to make this like the backside, like make it a paper clip, you know, or take this one, you know, I could take one on, one on one side. And all it is is a ticket and a punched heart. And I just stitched it. I put a little bit of glue to, you know, attach it and then had a bunch of them and I just ran them through my sewing machine and then cut them apart. Really cute, really super cute idea. Um, and you could just back them up like this and put a paper clip thing in between and it could be a paper clip, just a smaller, smaller version of a paper clip, okay? Um, this is the same concept as this, you know? I just did a circle and a scrap piece of paper, a label, a butterfly, and then this is actually a fussy cut image from a book. And some of those pretty felt flowers that Jen sent me that I still have a ton of and I'm trying to use them up. And then on this one, I left the paper clip out just a little bit <clears throat> so that when I use this, it's gonna sit like this on the page, okay? But I could put a little dangle or I could put some ribbon or something right here. So that will be on one side of the page and then the little envelope is on the other. And all I did was took punched, a punched heart and glued it right down here with some hot glue. Now you can use anything down here. You can use buttons. Um, I like to use buttons. I, I try to use a thinner button though because when you do that, it does make some add bulk. So, and these can be kind of bulky if you're not careful. I tried to keep these sort of flat <clears throat> but I love them. I think they're so cute. So just super, super easy stuff, y'all. It's really not, really, um, really not hard to do. And it's a great way. It is a great way to use up these scraps. Okay. Um, put these somewhere. And the circle. So like, I don't have, I don't know if they make I don't know what size this circle punch is. Let's see. I've got so much stuff around me. I was going to try to show you how I did this. Um, 
Yeah, so this is like a three and a half. This is like a three and a half inch circle. If you can see that. So um, I don't have a circle punch that size. I have one this size, which I believe is like a probably two and a half. Um, let's see. Let's see what size this is. Uh, yeah, that's like a two and a half. That's a two and a half inch circle. So, um, anyway, what I use, and I don't know if you guys have seen these things. These are ancient in the scrapbooking junk journal world. But so I have these that have these little cutters. Okay. So <clears throat> depending on what size you want. And I don't know that they even make these anymore. You might be able to find some on eBay. Um, I think it was Memory. Um, I don't know if it was We Are Memory Keepers or if it was Memory Makers. Like, these are these are really old, y'all. So, I have a set of circles, and then I have a set of ovals. And um, I use the circles more than I do the, the ovals, but... That's what I use to cut my circles. And then I have punches. And I will tell you that um pretty sure these are Fisker. I like these punches. This is a small heart. Here's the butterfly. I really, I really like these punches. They hold up really well. Um, I've got several of those. But if you want to, if you want to punch through something that's a little bit thicker, like, you know, I make the buttons. <laughs> this is apparently is going to be a product review video, but um, just showing you some of the things that I use and, and my thought process when I'm doing this. And, and I'll make a tag here in a minute. But uh, <clears throat> so when I make my buttons and stuff like this will punch through a lightweight chipboard. OK, and this is. Um, I believe this is a Recollections. Yeah. Recollections. They make a really good punch. Okay. And they're, um, yeah, they're good quality. I, I like these. I don't have any, um, like, stamping up. I have some. Most of these little ones that I have that have worked really well are recollections um, that will punch through, like I said, that will punch through a little bit thicker product, like a lightweight chipboard. Um, these right here, these will not, and you will mess up your punch trying, okay? So if you wanna, if you wanna punch through a little bit thicker, um, thicker stuff, then you need to use one of those that pr a press punch, you know, not these squeeze punches. In my experience, I've broken several punches. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, just just really simple. I mean, I've made I made a bunch of them just to kind of show you guys um, some samples of the layering with the circles, with the labels for the little paper clips, and then um, you can also do this. If you've watched any of my videos of any of my journals, you can take the little Rolodex cards and just do the same kind of the same process. You know, scraps of paper, a cutout book image, some Rick Rack, and a little milk cap. And I just stitch through it. And these make great little pockets, um, little tabs, little tucks. Just um, really cute. Here's another one. And then here's just the circle made into a tag, okay? So I just put some plain, I just put some plain paper on the back of here. Um, just took a label, a little piece of fabric here, a butterfly, a little tag, and another little cutout. And this is a die cut. Um, that That's not one I fussy cut, I don't think. No, maybe it is. This I might have fussy cut from a from an index card or something. Yeah. And I now need to glue his little head down. But um yeah. Not from an index. From a from a journaling card. Like I, I print 
I'll print journaling cards and stuff that I purchased digitally, and sometimes I'll just cut the image out, and this might be for the one for Kite. Um, yeah, I did cut these out. Yeah, I cut this out. Here's just a little, um, a little journaling card and just a scrap piece of heart and a little cutout. You know, you could add to it. Could add some little flowers over here or just keep it simple. Just, it's just layering. It's just layering your, layering your little pieces and, you know, keep it simple. Add a little bit of texture, you know. Here's one, um, I need to kind of fix this right here, add something because some of the ledger came off, but here's a little um, index tab that I just covered with ledger paper and cut a little bunny out from um, a Richard Scarry book. Scrap paper and Rick Rack and a label, you know, it's really cute. So um, I think I'm actually gonna use this in my journal that I'm working on now and I don't have to worry about that. I can, I can, do, so, do something with that in my journal because <clears throat> I've got pictures of Sophia playing in a sandbox at a um, at the marbles museum that we went to so here's another one just real, real simple y'all very simple very simple little ideas you know add some little fabric then here's a little um, this is the image that I cut out from a printable journal journaling card and I can't remember I can't remember if this was KB and friends or not I'll have to go back and look but yeah just you know added a little arm strength uh, vintage tab up there really cute really cute so that's all you have to do guys is, is uh, just get your stuff out like I have scraps of paper here I got my hot glue gun. I got tickets. I got tickets. I have all these die cuts over here. I have a whole tray of some little chipboard pieces I need to use up and then some other little images. I want to use some of these that I printed and cut out from some vintage sewing pattern printables. Um, they're a little bit larger, but isn't she cute? <laughs> so I want to make, you know, I want to make some stuff with these things. Um, that chipboard stuff's been in my stash for a long time and I've pulled the thickness off of the back of it to make it thinner. Um, and then I have a whole, like I have a whole thing here of punched butterflies and yeah, y'all know I'm crazy, right? So I have a whole thing of cut out images here. I have my flowers, um, just, you know, a bunch of other bits and pieces over here to choose from um the little tags that i made so i did the i did these with hearts and butterflies so this is a real simple quick embellishment here and it's really cute and then i have some other little i just have a bunch of little stuff everywhere and some fabrics over here some washi tape um but let's do this so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna glue i'm just gonna glue him on here Finish, finish him up in a minute. And we'll do something with her in a minute. Okay. Get my glue. And I go through this glue right here, y'all. <laughs> I've gotten to where I absolutely love this glue, um, this fabric tag, especially when I'm going to sew through anything and I sew through a lot of stuff. And uh, I use it like crazy. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, oh well, I got this set up different so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put some glue on this side. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. And I'm just gonna line this up so I don't have to do much cutting. And then I'm gonna glue this side. And now you can cut, you know, you can cut your scrap stuff up into what size pieces you want. Or you can just kind of let, you know, whatever you have decide, sort of, you know, go by what you have and let it sort of decide your sizes. Okay. So now I'm just going to cut this. I'm 
and then I'm gonna cut it over here. And then, as you can see, it's not exactly straight, so I'm gonna cut it on this line back here. And now we have the base of a tag okay and if you want to you can um you can leave this like this because you can write in between this or you can gesso over these you know or just you know put a picture on this side like let's say you know you got you, you love this little image and you make a tag out of it you can just put a picture on this side stick it in a pocket you know put it in your journal it doesn't have to be um doesn't have to be complicated. I'm bad for that too. I, I, I'll make things complicated sometimes and then I don't get anything done, okay? So then what we can do now is um, I can run this through my sewing machine and then I have my tools all out there, but typically what I do is I'll run this through my sewing machine. I might come back and put, you know, a little label or a piece of washi tape somewhere on here. Um, so let's see, do I have a little piece of washi tape? Sorry for my reach, I got a bunch of little washi tapes over here. So we go through like my little papers and my little scraps of washi. Um, like I like this blue on there. <clears throat> Those colors go really well with that. Um, <laughs> This will be cute. I kind of want to go with something a little bit darker. So I think what I'm going to do is use this. I like this side. Okay. So I think I'll wrap it. So all I do with this washi is I just tear it. Because it's not going to, the fabric's not going to tear. And then just do that little number right there. And kind of come here with what I want it. And then wrap it around. Now, probably should do the do the this sewing part before you put fabric washing. Because I have used my sewing machine to go through go through fabric washing. This is a little bit thinner. Um, so it will go through there, but it could jam up your needle. So you do what you want, but <clears throat> just be aware of that okay so that's those little pieces so now I could come back with a label oops my little labels let's see okay, I have a little have a little bowl here that's got a bunch of little label pieces in it um I, I like this green you don't have to use the whole label. You know, you could just use part of it. Um, let's see. Or you don't have to use the label at all, you know. Um, these are kind of big for this. I've also punched out a bunch of little, there's a bunch of little tags here. Um, don't know if I like those labels. Let's see. So have this have this red label, but it's kind of big. It's kind of big. Um, but I could use that. Yeah, I could use that and just wrap it. I mean, the possibilities for these things are endless, y'all. This, this is just a real simple, super super simple way of using up. <clears throat> using up your stash, using up your little bits, using up your book pages, using up your packaging, you know, stuff that you've saved. Um, you know, I, I use, I really do try to use as much as I can. I mean, there comes a point, <laughs> there does come a point though, when you just can't save every little scrap, you know. So sometimes once I've worked with so many scraps for so long and I just have a bunch of little pieces, I will toss them. You know, I'll do as much as I can with them and then when I kind of get, you know, 
six or seven months down the road when I'm totally bored with them and I've created more scraps, I'll let them go because, you know, I just can't, can't do everything. So now we could run this through the sewing machine, um, put a little uh, hole here and, you know, a piece of fabric, make a tag, a piece of twine, ribbon, whatever you have on hand. And you got a really cute little tag and you could put a, you know, put some journaling on here, photo on the back. Super simple, y'all. Super simple. <clears throat> so that's, that is that kind of tag. Okay. Um, and I'll show you some samples again. So um, since I'm not going through the whole exact, the whole exact process. So like with this one, I just, you know. I stitched before I put the washi on, um, and I just stitched around this one. This, I actually put this um, image from a book page on a, um, this is uh, some lightweight chipboard here, and then I covered it with some other paper. So, this is a little bit different, but, and then just use some feed sack fabric as a little tie. Um, same thing with this one. Actually, I think these were these might have been the end pages from the books. Um, and then I put some little stamps on this one with some washi. And uh, I did that first. I put the fabric washi on after I stitched. Okay. Um, here's one that I put, you know, the little ticket and the label. Just, just showing you the different, the different things you can add on these. There's a picture of mom and the baby. And actually it has this hush -a -bye on the back because that was the bottom. <clears throat> and if you don't like that, you could just cut these and, and put this on right side up. Um, I, I just like it. I just easier to me, just flip it up, glue it. Here's a little bunny. So see, this just has some twine on it. Okay. So you can see, just super, super simple, y'all. Super simple tags. Um, and uses up a lot of book pages, you know. So that's that idea. Um, so let's see. Okay, I'm at 37 minutes. So I'm going to... I'm going to leave that here and then I'll come back and um, I'll come back and do some more videos, maybe make some more little, maybe do some more of these, finish these little guys up that I had started. So like I'd started this little, I started this little girl here on the circle um, and then I started, <clears throat> I started this one, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with her and then I started these little guys. So, I'll come back um, later on and do another video with some more, um, making some more little simple embellishments. So, gather all your supplies and um, hopefully over um, the next day or two, I'll come back with another video, okay? And I'm working on other projects too, so be on the lookout in the next few weeks for those. And uh, I love you guys and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.